Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today in a beautiful place to witness the joining of two lads. The marriage of Evie and Jake. We have come here to share in this commitment and to offer our love and support to this youth. Today I get to marry my best friend, the one I laugh with, love for, dream with, and love. At first you were a stranger on a crammed sideline with no idea who your name was. Never did I think you would stop me in my tracks and give me your phone number, but I am so glad you did. It was the million dollar question that stole my heart. So are we exclusive? The gentleman you are is everything I dreamed of and more. You have always been there for me through my highs and lows. And when you give me strength, when mine is gone. I still remember the moment my whole life changed in Maribel. What was merely a sly attempt to woo a pretty girl became an abrupt halt to my search for my forever person. What a moment I will cherish forever when I first saw that size seven sneaker fly past my head. In all seriousness, we did it, but we aren't done yet. There is so much more to do, and this moment is just a milestone in a life forever. A smart man once said, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. I vow to always right our ship in moments when we are frustrated with one another. I vow to always come together and speak my mind respectfully. Nothing is too big, nothing is too small to lean on one another, and I vow to admit help when I need it. I vow to love you unconditionally, no matter the walk of life we're in. I will love you forever. I vow to be the best husband and father for our future family. There is no other person I would want to run this race of life with. I can't thank you enough for everything you do, have done, and will do for me. At times, a simple thank you is inadequate. I hope this is everything you dreamed of and I can be everything you deserve. I can't love you more than I do right now, and yet tomorrow I will love you more than I do today. <laughs> to my loving wife and beautiful bride, I vow to love you. Definition of a marriage. Amy and Jake, I'm going to try to define this thing we call marriage. Perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No, no, no. Get proud of everything. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance. Through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter. Through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and learning to make the important things matter and let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to be the symbol of how far you both have come. It will symbolize the promises you will make to each other to continue to grow stronger as individuals and as husband and wife. No matter what challenges you face, you now face them together. And no matter how much you succeed, you succeed together. The love between you joins you now as one. Love which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance will be the foundation of a constant and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows are more important than those you're about to take. Eddie and Jake, I thank God for the love that has brought the two of you together. You are truly perfect for one another. I, Jake, give you, Ebby, my life and my love, my honesty and my faithfulness, my laughter and my tears. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to cherish and care for you, to respect and honor you with all my heart today and every day and the rest of our lives. I, Ebby, give you, Jake, my life and my love, my honesty and my faithfulness, my laughter and my tears. I promise to encourage you and inspire you, <laughs> to cherish and care for you, to respect and honor you with all my heart today and every day and for the rest of our lives. Okay, we are ready for the rings. <laughs> no idea what it took to get that kid to do that. <laughs> Abby and Jake, though small in size, these rings are huge in their significance. 
They're made of precious metal. They remind us that love is not cheap nor common. Indeed, love may cost us dearly. I, Jake, give you, Ebby, this ring. As an eternal symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. Thank you. 